It's all connected. 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 It's all uh, take a get the take a get on take take a mon. <laughs> I was gonna say Armageddon. Take a get take a I get Tech Mageddon. Tech Mageddon. Tech Mageddon. <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right. Anyway, this is the It's All Connected show here on RealLibertyMedia dot com and R L M Radio dot X Y Z. Uh, this is episode thirty six of It's All Connected, oh, no. and today's show is Idols. And false gods. So, um, and we're not talking Billy Idol here. No, no. And we're not talking about car mm-hmm. idols. Uh, <laughs> as you sit there in your idling car listening to our podcast later on down the road. Uh, no, 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 no. We're talking about like golden calves um, and such things. Or presidents, though, right? Or presidents, yes, or other globalist scumbags. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Would like to be worshipped. Oh, they, they they demand to be worshipped, and if you if you don't worship them, then there's something heavily wrong with you. Anyway, I am Grimner, and my mm-hmm. lovely co-host is Miss Circulo over there in that Denmarkian land. And if you're not over here on the Real Liberty Media site or rlmradio.xyz, go to one of those sites. You can jump on into the chat. Uh, unless you have your own chat chat client and know how to get here, then that's totally different. But if you're not, uh, or if you don't, then come on over, jump on into the chat here, and you can talk to all the fine folks that are here in the chat today, and some of the not-so-fine ones as well. Um, <laughs> Ooh, not that crowd. We all know who those are, don't we? Yeah, oh, of course, of course. Anyway, just before the uh, show, my circle and I were talking here on the wire, and uh, she was telling me about some of the uh, holidays and such things uh, that are going on, that that do go on over there, I guess, on a regular basis uh, in Denmark, and that that Easter is like several days going on over there, which... Yeah, um Thursday. And then it ends on Monday. See, that's that's like that's a that's a huge thing. Like I said here, it's a Sunday, so if you're you know like a, a working stiff, um, you, you don't get any extra days off for for Easter. Generally speaking, I, not not that I remember anyway. Um, you you just you know it's a Sunday. If it was on a Monday, you'd get the Monday off, or if it was a Friday, you get that off. But uh, Good Friday is not a holiday um, here, so. Well, I guess it is for some people because they do whatever. But um, generally speaking, your employer are, is not going to pay you to take Good Friday off uh, as as a regular holiday thing. Because, well... The, the stores are closed, too. Everything closes for Easter here. Yeah, nothing... So no. the stores were closed Thursday and Friday and Sunday and today. No, the they stores, were on, 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 on Saturday. The stores don't close here even on Easter Sunday. Um, but, but like on Christmas, one store that's open. On, on Christmas day, they're closed. And I think on Thanksgiving day, most are closed kind of, but they've kind of pushed the, uh, Thanksgiving thing, which you guys don't have, uh, the Thanksgiving thing, uh, into the black Friday thing. So some of these stores will open up at a certain time of day or evening on Thanksgiving to, to let the, the greedy shoppers in there. Um, yeah. Everything and, is closed here for the most of Christmas too. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think uh, three days, three to four days. I, I think, I think and there's like two stores open. I think Christmas days. is really the only day where everything pretty much closes. Um, mm-hmm. And so, like, if you're like uh, out on the road somewhere and looking for a, a meal, uh, you better have planned ahead because you're not going to get anything on Christmas Day. <laughs> no, that's the same here for Easter, though, right? Just for four days. And people are off. Everybody's off on the Easter days, and then usually you're with your family and friends doing Easter lunch and working in your garden. It's it's spring though, right? Right. Yeah. Sure. Sure. It's the spring break. Yeah. 
I think, I'm not positive on this, but I'm looking at my graph here, um, that your new computer microphone output settings are lower than they were on your old machine. So oh. if you can adjust those up a little bit, that'd be good. I had, okay, sure. And I do that how? I I, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck! You can't say stuff like that, man. Well, I I did. Okay, okay. I don't know. Just pretend that when you're talking, just pretend you're yelling at Flash for doing something wrong, and it'll come out louder. I don't. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? I don't know. Am I better now? I can speak really loud. Yeah, it's all right. I, it was okay. Anyway, I, I'm just saying to you that it was lower, so that uh, yeah, you're you're lower than me. Um, in, it, am I better now? I think I found the button. Okay. The button. I think it's better now. All right. right. Yeah, it's. I'm going to turn it all the way up. Yeah, this no. is all the way up. Now it's at a hundred. Eight hundred. Ooh. One hundred. Just a. Oh, a hundred. A hundred. All right, that's great. Yeah, okay. leave, yeah, leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right, so let's get into this here a little bit. Uh, false gods and idols, which is yes. opposed opposed to true gods and um. I I don't know. Hey, Miss Mary. T tell me. Hey. I love you, Mary. Man, I love you. I love Thank you. Thank you for coming, Mary. I love you, Grammy. All right. Um, we so, miss you on the radio, Mary. Ah, uh, see, now, now you're good. Uh, all right. Um, so, um, tell me this, uh, because in the in the Christian things, religions, things, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. they uh, most of them have the the crucifix, right? Yeah, which is, I don't understand that at all. And, and would that not be considered an idol? Yeah, wouldn't Jesus be considered a false god? Well, and that's that's a whole different question. But I was focusing on the the idol portion at this point. Oh, there's uh, tons of idling and all that religious bullshit. There's tons of idolizing there. Oh, what was the word? I what? Oh man. See, I can you say that word again? Which idol? Oh, idolatry. Yeah, that okay. word. Okay. Lots of that in all of religions, right? Fetishes and icons and persons to worship. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. But, uh, I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> wouldn't, a, you, wouldn't you say that little cross you wear around the neck, uh, that's a fetish? It's a, fe a fetish or an idol, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, the, so and beyond the fact that Okay, let let's say that Jesus returned. Okay, and he he mm -hmm. go and he walks into the the local pick a pick a denomination Christian church, and he, and he sees up on the wall a, a big thing of him. <laughs> <laughs> not the fish. No, 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 not the fish that he wanted to be branded for. Right? He really tried with the fish. He tried putting out on the market. You know. Oh yeah, the fish was good. That, that was that was his logo. The fish, the, the, the whole fi fish thing. The right? fish was good. He, I mean, he he fed how many people with a, one fish, you know? Yeah. Uh, anyway, but so let's say he 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 comes back to Earth at this point in time, and he goes walking into one of your, like I said, mm. pick pick your Christian denomination church, and inside there, there's a big thing of him on the wall, uh, nailed to a cross and dying. Uh, yeah. How how. I mean, I, I I don't know for sure what what he would feel about that, but I mean, if it were me, and uh, you know, uh, I came back and all these people were were worshiping me, uh, but the but the symbol they were using to worship me was a picture of me being tortured, um, and and murdered. I would say, what, what the hell is wrong with you people? Yeah. <laughs> but you uh, you ducked a question earlier. Which Thomas? question was that? The um, do you think okay? Let's let's not go into the whole was Jesus real or not, right? All right. Let's just say let's just say okay. Do you think Jesus was a divine creature that was given the truth 
and was not a human, the son of God, or do you think Jesus was a human who reached a divine insight? Okay, so you're saying that if he was a human, that would mean that he couldn't be the son of God. No, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I said, let's say that there was a Jesus, right? Okay, there was a Jesus. And he, for some, he, for some reason, he had a divine insight into the source of everything, right? A deeper understanding that made him wise. Wise enough for people to write books about him 500 years later, right? Right. Would you, does the, that divine insight that he spoke of, and that he came with that wisdom. Did did that was that given to him as a divine creature that isn't a son of man, but a son of God, or was that a son of man that found and derived that meaning? Well, I, I think, um, and, and see, I, there, there's large gaps in the in the Bible uh, about the life of Jesus. Hmm? Uh, we we know when he was born, and then we know him when he's a fully grown guy. So. Uh, so there's these these big gaps there that we don't know what happened during that point in time. So I would assume that, like the Buddha, uh, he he or did Batman. Some, oh, oh, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's not, it's not bring Batman into this. Uh, all right. <laughs> That's the same. No, no, no. Went but, but and got wise from the old ancient knowledge, right? I don't think Batman ever got wise from anything. <laughs> he I, went away to the people who were going to destroy all of Gotham, right? To learn how all that martial I, art. And I, I, really, and I, I, I really don't know much about Batman. Okay, um. well, he has, he has the same story as Jesus, though. So. He does? <laughs> yeah, he, you know, Batman went to a monastery when he was really? a young teenager, and he he grew that divine, you know, martial art, blah, blah, yeah. I, I had no just, idea. Just like, then came back and was Batman, you know, saving Gotham from this cult that was going to destroy Gotham. I, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, but it's the same story. It's Jesus the story, though, right? Well, I, I don't know. Jesus didn't have, like, that utility belt with all the nifty little gadgets. <laughs> no, but he went away, though. I'm I'm agreeing with your story. He went away. Okay. He he went somewhere and sought knowledge, though, right? Either he was called to, or he went somewhere to seek out knowledge. All right, is that is that in like the original Batman comic books? The going, what well, I think it is the cult thing about uh, the order of something that's trying to destroy. Uh, no flashes, no. All right. Mm. Okay. Well, I, I saw like um, there was some. St- Stupid TV show. I forget what they called it. A couple, few, five, ten years ago. Uh, anyway, and it showed Batman as a child. I, I forget what's his mm. name. Bruce, Bruce awesome. Wayne. That was where, a fun show, though. Oh, okay. But they did other stories oh, about him okay. way earlier where he grows up in a monastery. Okay, so anyway, he, he got, uh, he saw his parents being killed by some muggers or whatever. And that's that's what drove him to become this superhero um, yeah. Dude, um, yeah, and that, that's really all I know. <laughs> well, okay, let's get back to the Jesus thing that you're okay. avoiding. Okay, so no, no, I'm not avoiding. I'm, I'm not avoiding. But I would assume that Jesus, like the Buddha, uh, went to some place of solitude where he could meditate for weeks, weeks on end, um, and 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 gained knowledge. Um, of of the universe, the workings of the universe, uh, the workings of of the earth and the people, um, so that he could have that wisdom and and be able to impart that uh, upon his flock, whatever you want to call them, his followers. Uh, Would you then say he was a human? Because if if he could do it, then right, then we all can do it, though. Well, no, I, and I think we can. I mean, to mm-hmm. say that, okay, let's say. People call Jesus the Son of God, right? Mm. Well, aren't you the daughter of God then? Am I not the Son of God as well? That depends on which God. I'm not well, sure. Well, I want to be. There are some of the gods that really okay. don't want to be. <laughs> okay, the, from the the main Judeo Christian God. I really don't want to be related to that guy. No. Okay, and why don't you? Oh, because he, 
killed and murdered a whole lot of people and raped women and he did and he commanded humans to do it to each other okay i, I must have missed that i don't part. think i, I want to be I, I, you know, I, 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 kinda... I, I must have missed that part of the book <laughs> I, don't, I, 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 I don't remember God as a rapist uh, or a murderer. Really? Well, he was a murderer. I, I mean, but but it was his own creations that he was getting rid of, right? Because he that doesn't matter though. That's that, still cruel. If you well, if you give birth to sentient beings that have feelings and emotions and can feel pain, then that doesn't mean you get to torture them and kill them off like they're toys just because you created them. Well, it, but it but, makes you cruel. Yeah, because because there was, it, there was a, that kind of thing where he messed up and he let those angels come down and <laughs> and and uh, intermingle with the humans, right? And, and and so they did, and and then they were like, they they didn't like the humans, and so they were, the the, the angel people, um, people are they people? Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know, yeah. <laughs> angel beings. <laughs> um, I'm just saying that, right? That if Jesus could reach the source, right? Okay. Because cause then let's go to a not angry, because yes, Mary, that was an angry, bitter, violent, deadly, nasty, cruel God, though, right? Well, yeah, but he Probably was, because that was what people was to each other. Uh, because of his own his own uh, angels, which I, I, I don't really understand exactly what those are, um, other than they were, you know, some other beings that were in the area wherever he is, people call it heaven. Uh, mm. So I, I don't know. Anyway, so they came down to earth to intermingle with the humans, and then they, um, you know, mated uh, with the humans, and, and they had these... Probably uh, raped. Other... Should we just not say that? No, I, because I don't... I, whatever. whatever. Um, a lot of them, because they came down here, and they didn't like the humans because God favored <coughs> God favored the humans over, over the angels. Uh, because they were his creation, right? Uh, so Did I, you not hear how human liked all this and petty all this is? Sure. Because <laughs> I'm going to go with beyond all that, right? Well, there see, is a it, it, here's, here's there the There is a truth. Here, here's the thing, though. Um, it it sounds that way via the Bible, but see, the Bible was written by people, by humans. I don't think any of all that shit happened. Well, who knows what happened, but but the Bible. I, okay, then let me let me put it this way: I don't think the Bible, any of the text, whether they're being the canonical or the non-canonical, I don't think anything that describes that creature, that I'm going to call that um, Abrahamic God. There's no way any of that describes the source of love and creation in this universe. Those two things are not the same. Okay. That's just that's just my point. I know that's a pretty uh, definitive point. And I'm, I'm sorry if you have a different point, but that's how I'm going to roll with it. Well, no, I, I I go with it. I mean, it, as a it's a it's a purely energy thing, um, uh, and and that's that's what. And if Jesus could could find the way to derive that meaning from existing on this planet, in this universe, right? Right. And give that on to such an extent, because somebody um, walked the earth and touched human beings in a deeper way than most people are able to. Would you think that too, right? Somebody did that. Or run that past me again? Somebody, a.k.a. Jesus or whatever we would call him, somebody, maybe more than once, but somebody walked the earth back then who had found a wisdom that made him or her able to connect to humans in a different way, right? Um, Jesus found some knowledge. Right, which, which of course, any of us could do or can mm. ha- have the capability of doing uh that. So I would say, then why would you why would you worship Jesus though? Why why wouldn't you just you know, well, uh, um, I, I, find the divine insect he found? 
Why not mimic him? Why worship? Why? Well, yeah, because a lot of saying... the Christian faith will say that the way to source goes through Jesus. That's the whole Christian foundation. That you can't find that source yourself. That you go through Jesus. No, but you can. Okay, okay. So if they believe you need to go through Jesus in order to find that, then yes, uh, they are. I would say that those are false gods. The, then, then, well, they're, they're misguided humans, is what I think. More, more than being <laughs> false gods, yeah. it's, it's misguided humans. Uh, I, but yeah. uh, it's it, it, and I have to go back to the Buddha because mm. he he gained his knowledge. Uh, well, in, in the same way that that Odin did, basically, um, if you're familiar with the with the story of Odin hanging from the tree, um, which he did and gave his eye in order to to be able to uh, you know to drink from the fountain and gain that knowledge, um, mm -hmm. which of course that's not an exact interpretation of what happened, but it, it's showing the sacrifice required um, in order for you or anybody else me uh to to be able to gain the the knowledge of the universe of of the workings of the of the uh yeah infrastructure is that a good word um <laughs> of the universe yeah. in order to get the understanding uh, of how things work and so i i think a lot of these stories are basically the same story uh, but told with a uh, geographical uh, spin on it right um, mm. so if you, if you were from India or wherever, you know, the, the Buddhist Nepal, um, uh, hang out at, or if you're, you're from the, uh, your area of the world, the Germanic lands up there, then it would have been Odin. Uh, and if mm. you, it, it, you know, central Europe after the, uh, the, you know, the Pope came through and killed a whole bunch of people, um, uh, to, to make it, to force them to believe the way he wanted them to believe, um, uh, so yeah, I, I think it, I think it. Uh, I think most of these are really the same story, uh, but but told with you know, like I said, the geographical spin depending on your location. Um, yeah. So, but it, but it all goes back to to the to the main thing is getting to understand why we're here, how we're here, what is here. Um, because, I mean, that's a huge question. You know, people said, oh, we're on Earth. Okay, great. What's Earth? Where did it come from? Uh, I don't care so much about the why, though. I'm more, I'm more of a how and what kind of person. Okay, well, then, then you... Why we here doesn't... I, I don't find it... In, the why is not that interesting to me. It's not? Okay. Huh. The how are we here and what are we here? I find that was very interesting, but why? Okay. Mm. How, how are we here? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are we here? Yeah, and what I'm, is I'm, here? I'm I'm prone to believing in the whole we were, you know, a, a sneeze, a nothing sneezed something into existence that went out of, um, spun out of control and created a universe, and 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 did create a multiverse though. That's what I'm gonna think. I think it's a sneeze. I think the how is just it's a big old sneeze. Well, I, I think I think that this what we perceive as this three D reality of, you know, ourselves, the earth, the universe, the galaxies, whatever. I I think it's just a big uh it's a computer program. You know. Um well, mm. because the the first time you like you go through and you code a bunch uh, you know your virtual world. I don't, I don't know if you've done any gaming gaming programming or not, but mm. um, when when you start it, when you start that that program, uh, it boom it, it create that that universe that you've just programmed comes into being, and everything within that universe that you programmed comes into being. Um, yeah, well, I just think it's the other way around, though. Premier. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I, th I think that I think that everything in life and and the omni and the multiverse. Um, I think that's a very complex that we rendered into a concept of a computer. Well, but we couldn't have rendered it if we hadn't already been rendered. No. Right. No, but I think it's way more. I think. Um, okay. But, 
let's just go because because deep down everything is an, is one big illusion, right? There there is no table. We, do we agree on that or? Are we, yeah, are we no, I, I mean separate? there is no table. There, there there's not. However, we can perceive it as it is. Or as all this that you see and all this that is the universe and galaxies from the micro to the macro, right? Okay. That is merely our beings creating it as we interact with it. Because it does not exist. Right. At its profound level, it does not exist. It, 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 true, but uh, in order for us to be able to create it, to to make it yes. uh, seem feel act real uh mm. in, in this in this uh 3D you know universe you have basic interactions right yeah basic but, rules of interactions that you in a chaos loop with feedback just endlessly repeats itself right uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's more actions or or rules or interactions than it's there's nothing physical in anything. Right, but it, but it's perceived as physical in 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 the metaphysic. Yeah, it is. And, and, and but that's a human ability to create all that. That's a human ability to do all that. Yeah. Not just a human ability, though. I'm pretty sure Hannah knows how to do it too. You think? <laughs> she walks on the sidewalk. So I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying that deep down, right? From all that, so so I would say that every all the the same with the presidents and the status and the teachers. They're all they're all there to teach you to to sway you away from the truth. Right. They want you to believe in uh, the existence that they want to create. They want you to believe that that you are powerless and worthless and pointless and greedy and stupid and 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 a waste and a horrible being. That's what they want humans to believe about themselves. That they hold nothing, that they can do nothing and that they are nothing. Okay. That's the truth they want to sell you. Whether it's being the state or the politicians or the teachers or the priests or the wise men or the people who try to, all the false gods, all the ones who who teaches you idols, instead of of leading you towards the source, right? Right. But uh, answer me this. You think or you believe that uh, we need to be led towards the source to find the source. No, I don't. I think you have to be let go. I think you have to be set free to find the source. Okay, but is this? Do you think? Do you believe that the source is actually within you? Yeah, it no, is. It's, I think it's everywhere. I yeah, think it's, it is. It's, it's, it's I in think everything. It is. It's not in you. I think it is. You. I think. Well, yeah, it, 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 right. It, you can't separate it because you know why? It's all connected. There you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's in that. It's, it's when they, you know, the false gods will teach you that you are separated from what is. They are also the same voices that will tell you that what isn't is somehow more perfect than what is. Right. Yeah, they want you to. Uh, they want you to yeah. always be discontent and in oppose and and in struggle with what is. So instead of finding that peace and calm that comes from understanding what is, sitting at what is, and and just expanding what it is. Right. They, they want. There they, you find source. Right. They, they want you to play follow the leader. Um, yeah, and that, if that if they you... want you to to get through source through Jesus through my words to this to this book though right mm -hmm. through my teachings right and, and you know that's that's you know that that's one of the things that that always um, bothered me uh, extremely about the Bible um, is mm -hmm. 
Why, why is there this King James version or the other versions that came before that or since then? But uh, this guy, this King James, decided he was going to rewrite things uh, to, to fit his rule to, 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 that, that made things more powerful for him um, uh, during, during his day, right? And and people just accepted that or that okay they they went through and they modified this book they took out some of the books that were in there um, and and hid those and 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 that's all fine and that's all okay. Um, no, they rewrote it from a polytheistic piece of literature to a monotheistic. It was rewritten from okay. many gods to one god. Okay, so then, if that if that be true, if that be the case, then um, the Ten Commandments. You're, from, you're familiar with those, <laughs> which is repetition, and would make a lot more sense if there is more than one God, though, isn't? You know. Well, and and he says that you will have no other gods before me, meaning that by saying that that there are other gods, right? I don't think Source cares, though. I think Source does not care what you do. I don't think that's how. <laughs> no, I'm just talking about how how it was how it yeah, was I written know. how it was written in the Bible. The guy who wrote the Ten Commandments is has a really small prick. Yeah, I know, really small dick. All right. It's it's all about it's it, it. First of all, it's it's all about you can't worship anybody but me. So uh, uh, you have to only masturbate to my name and my image, right? I, That's pretty much it. And then the other really <laughs> lovely thing about the commandment is how it, you know, tells you that you have to treat your um, livestock and your wife and your slaves in a nice way, right? I, I think I, it's in I, that I, don't, I don't know that commandment. No. About treating your livestock well. <laughs> okay, you, you have to, you can't covet your neighbor's livestock or wife. Isn't that how it is? In that order? Uh, I, I guess. You're not, you're not supposed to cut out your neighbor's wife. I don't know about their livestock. I mean, I may, maybe maybe if you're from Arkansas, then you covet livestock. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was written yeah. from a god who would see all human beings in an equal way. Though. I, I got a poke I, I'm not a big fan of that Christian um, <laughs> war god. Which Which war god? The Christian one, the Christian guy who likes the wars, the guy who is in the Bible. So, so the regular, or the the yeah, what's his name? Yah Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah, isn't that his name? I I don't know. I mean, they say you can't actually say his name, um, which whether whatever, um, <laughs> you wouldn't understand his name or be able to listen to his voice. No. Uh, various <laughs> things like that. So, um, yeah, I think there were a couple of different gods, though, right? Uh, yeah, Yahweh I guess. Was just one of them. But but you're you're not, yeah, yeah. But I think Yahweh was the guy who really liked the wars. He's the, he's the blood sacrifice guy. You have to sacrifice tons of blood, so virgins and children and uh, stuff too. Uh, I thought that was Mars was the uh, uh, god of war. Uh, 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 Romans. I don't, I don't know. Isn't there a lot in the Bible about that? You know, killing virgins and raping them, and you know, I, I don't, I don't, and I hitting I, and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that part. I know I didn't read it. I mean, I've read yeah. parts of it. Um. <laughs> you ever noticed how the uh, the religion of love? that we call Christian. Christianity is all about hate and war. And and the religion of wisdom that we call Judaism is all about secrecy and occultism. And the religion of peace we call Islam is all about wars and hate too. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it funny how that is? One, one would almost think that they're trying to stray you uh, away from the truth that uh, when it all comes down to it, right? We're all, you know, just source. Well, it, 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 they would if if they could see past their own little uh, yeah 
inadequacies, inadequacies uh, in their brains uh, and 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 actually tune in to the yeah. hmm, the cord. I will call it the cord. It's a frequency, right? Um, yeah. yeah, like like the like the uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, anyway, I, I mean everything's frequency and energy, right? Isn't that? I would say. Would, would you agree with that? I would say. All right. I kind of like the string thing. The string thing. I know thing. it's not real, but I kind of like the string theory vibe to things. Well, why? Why do you say that's not real? Well, I think it's been disproven with the. Um, uh, I think some theory disproved it a while ago. Or something. I think. I think string I theory is still up in the air. I kind of like it though. Yeah, it, no, it, it's, it it's, speaks it's a, to me in a, in a gra- it speaks to me. The the idea of little energy strings that vibrates and have different shapes and hang out in in teeny tiny dimensions and just shape everything. Right. Well, but when, that's... when you interact with it, that's the beauty of it, right? Though so it's in a hyperstate, but when you interact with it or something interacts with it, it it you know. Right, and you know, actually, don't even have to interact. You just have to observe it in order to yeah. modify it. Yeah. Your your observation of whatever. That's an interaction. Just to observing it, just to being in it is an interaction. That's kind of amazing, though. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because because if you look at at um. How much of the knowledge that are given to people or spoon fed mainly to people will take you away from that understanding of how connected everything is? Okay. I'm 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 just mulling that over. I'm not I'm not gone. I'm just I'm here just <laughs> Oh, you were thinking. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, you know. Wrap my head around your concepts, so. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I don't know either. I see an awful lot of that thing I can't pronounce, idolatry. Uh, A lot of worshipping, though, right? Okay. Well, there is. I mean, okay. Uh, Mm. A a lot of, uh, most of the uh, idolatry comes down to the American flag in this country. It's you will pledge allegiance to this piece of cloth, yeah. Your uh, which is that's idolatry, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pledging Big allegiance time. to a to a piece of cloth. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, and but you also have all the famous people and the influencers and the, the know it alls, and and I would assume because I have all these prejudices about what life is like in America, so I would assume you have a fuckload of priests through too that are are preying on this. Yeah. Because I don't know, I I I sometimes watch some of those TV priests and evangelists on uh, YouTube, and they're kind of fucked up, Grimner. Oh, they're totally. I, I they. they <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen uh, one of the one of those. I mean, they're they're just there trying to get a bunch of money. That's all they're doing. Um, you see the guy who got himself a, a, a airplane, and then the minute he had it, he he said on the radio that give me more money because God said I need it too. Oh yeah, you got to have two planes, one for <laughs> <laughs> two private jets, you know. Yep, and sixteen houses and forty seven Cadillacs and. Yeah, I saw one clip where he's explaining to people how they can take up loans on their credit cards to send him more money for his uh, second airplane. Yeah, yeah, I'll be. All, I'm all over that. Yeah, you bet, buddy. I'm gonna, mor- <laughs> mor- I'm gonna mortgage my house to buy you a plane. Uh, <laughs> and people fall for that. People do that. Apparently, uh, yeah. He, yeah. They call it sowing seeds. Ah, whatever. A preacher. I think he's. That's probably that Joel Osteen guy, right? Eh? Yeah. Is that the guy? Eh? Joel. Joel Osteen. I don't know. I've seen a bunch. Of, I've seen different kinds of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 
huh. the fake healers and the, they're predators, man. Oh wait, I gotta. I do just this. don't get. Uh, I mean, what what kind of world where we are? Uh, he's a priest to me, Moose Girl. They're all priests to me. Priest, general, kings. That's it. Uh, priest. They wear the badge of the good Lord of the Christian Bible. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I got, I got, I, I, we got to do this thing here. Uh, it'll take. Oh, that's way too long. I don't want that. What? Well, these are both way too long. What would you? Oh think? no, I had this commercial to do, but I'm gonna have to go through it and edit it down. I don't want to play a six-minute commercial. Oh no. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, anyway, no, uh, the redneck Dennis. You, have you heard him yet? No. Oh, he comes. I on, not. He comes on on Saturdays. His, his show is the Redneck Dennis. He's Doc Mike, uh, and he does. Well, really... I think I heard uh, half an hour. Of the okay, show. he does a good show. Anyway, he made mm-hmm. these commercials, but they're like long, so I'm gonna have to go through and edit one down to make it. Yeah, yeah, that's too long for mm-hmm. a commercial. They're five and a half minutes. So sorry. Um, <laughs> I was gonna play. I was gonna play one right now, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, you're gonna do a little. Oh, that's a good idea. Though, do little plugins. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a good, it's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, was, it was a good commercial listen on his show, but I, I don't want to do six minutes or five and a half minutes. Uh, no, but you uh, could make little 30 second plugins. Yeah, right, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. 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 So, uh, let me ask you this, uh, this is totally unrelated to anything we've been talking about or that is planned for the show. Um, okay. Have you ever been up in the middle of the night and decided, and you got an email about something? Oh, I'm going to buy that, and you bought it right no. there in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, no, I have not. I did last night. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, be- did you get up in the middle? As you no, went no, no, to no, bed no, and no. got up? No, I was. Or you uh, were up? I was up. I was up. And, okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I sit here in the RLM chat for, you know, hours, and then I'll go and watch a movie. Yes. Yeah, you know, pretty much every night. Um, and and then after I'm done watching whatever movies, uh, then I'll come back in here and, you know, close, thing, close things out, check my email. Uh, mm. Anyway, so there's this website, Woot. You familiar with Woot? No. Okay. But it sounds fun. It's like Wish, maybe? Chinese crap? No, 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 no. These are all good. Okay. They, they have good items. Okay. 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 Uh, so anyway, I got this email from Woot about this lawnmower, um, and a lawnmower. And and see, uh, I bought a new mower like four years ago, and um, it's a great mower, I guess, but it's been giving me hassles lately, and um. and, and I'll I'll still keep that and fix it and make it work right. But at this point in time, it's a gas mower, and and I gotta like flip it up on its side. To, I, I don't know why, but it, but that makes I can make it start after that. But if I'm mowing the lawn and it, it you know gets bogged down in heavy grass, it'll choke out, and mm-hmm. then I'll have to flip it up on its side in order to get started again. I, and I, I I really have no idea why. I just found that out by accident. When anyway, mm-hmm. uh, so there was this mower there. It's a Greenworks. Uh, uh, so you got yourself a, a mower. Yeah. So I spent two hundred bucks in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> which on a mower? On a mower, yeah, two hundred bucks. Um, and uh, I think you, I think you are in spring mode then. Well, I, I, I am to the degree that spontaneously uh, buying garden stuff. Well, I, I, I am to the degree that knowing that stuff is going to start growing and I'm going to have to cut it down. Yeah, isn't it awesome? So that's that. I built a new planting bed like last week. It's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, that's the mower that I oh, that I got. It's a oh. electric uh, uh, cordless with the batteries and crap like that. Um, yes. And anyway, I was just wondering if you know you ever in the middle of the night. Oh, look at this! I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> I never did. It was like I, what? I sometimes You're... look at stuff in the middle of the night and then I put it in a shopping bag and go to bed. Yeah. Well, I, I was I worried. Like I was worried that this was gonna sell out, but they're not sold out yet. Because a lot, of, a lot of stuff on Woot sells out. Like I'll see it at night, and then I'll look Ooh. at it in the morning, and it's already gone. Because they they have a limited amount that they sell. Um, uh, either way, it's like a four hundred dollar mower they got for two hundred bucks. So whatever. yeah, yeah, that, and that's what Woot is. Nice. They they like have deals, you know, daily deals and stuff like that. 
Uh, anyway. I have, we had one year where I felt like uh, Grammy Mary. I was mowing all the time, so that's when I decided to just cut the garden in half. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah lot, I kept lot on, more... oh man, I'm like Mary now. I'm mowing all the time. Because Mary, remember when Mary was mowing and mowing and mowing and mowing? Yeah, well, she had a riding mower, right? She, she had a riding mower. Still, that was like a, hours every well, weekend she, she was mowing. That's what happens when you got a bunch of property. I know. <laughs> so I was mowing all the time. I thought, man, you don't even have a cool ride like Mary. You're just walking around in lines like an idiot. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I still do that, but I cut the, we cut the garden down to half. All right. Then well, I'm as... just going to do wildflowers and puppies and stuff in the other bank. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Anyway, I was just wondering. You know, I I, I don't I don't go around buying stuff in the middle of the night. Um... <laughs> no, so it must have been an odd odd um, experience for you. Well, I saw it and I was like, oh, I I I could definitely that would def. Because I don't, I don't want to fight with a mower before I start mowing the lawn. Because then you're already tired out before you get the lawn <laughs> even started mowing yeah. the lawn. With with, yeah. with one of these, you know, you just mow it. And, and, have you have you ever wondered why you know lawn mowers and stuff for the garden are often lime green? Um, well, this tons of lime green. This, this company is called Greenworks. So oh, so that could be why. And I have I have a Greenworks uh, chainsaw. Um, yes. So I know they're a good company. You know they make good products, and I looked at all the the reviews, and they're very good uh, yes. on, on this particular one. So uh, that is one of the favorite, my favorite things, though, right? On a summer day, to sit out in the you know on your lawn when it's just been mowed and just look at it. That you know. <laughs> yes, the god of chainsaws is pleased. Uh, <laughs> thanks, yes. Flash. Um, uh, anyway, this is enough of a, a little side, side distraction there. I was, I was just thinking about it and thought, yes. I, thought I'd ask you uh, if, if uh, that was a personal experience of yours at any point. Uh, to uh, to purchase, spontaneously night yeah. shop lawnmowers. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like one a.m. Yeah. One a.m. You know, and I'm I'm on my way. Uh, you know, to, you know, take care of my, my end of the night duties, you know, close down stuff on the computer that I didn't need and, you know, go brush, yeah. the, brush the teeth and then hit the bed, um, that, yeah. that, that kind of stuff. And, and so in, in between I got distracted because normally I, I, I don't really pay attention to anything at that time of night. I'm, I'm just ready to go. You don't, you don't howl at the moon? Well, I do I that. I thought you were kind of the howling at the moon kind of guy before you went to bed. Well, I, I I do that some nights, but not every night. Not when the coyotes are out. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing a lot of fires the last couple of days because we had some really nice spring weather. You know, some really beautiful days where you could be outside with no coats on. Oh yeah, you have we a fire. You have a, and... you have a fire pit in your yard. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't just set the neighbor's house on fire. Oh, well, that that could be festive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then today, yeah, it snowed. Yeah. Well, then it got really cold today, and then it just, just suddenly started snowing. It's 77 degrees here. Yeah. Ain't no so snow. So I was glad because I built up the whole planting bed thing from the garden. I built up the whole garden for next year, um, and I'm slowly filling the whole planting beds and building them up and all that. So it's a good thing I'm a little behind because, you know, if I plant it. Right, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I expect there to be a few more uh, frosts coming through here. Uh, yeah. It's typical for New Mexico. You know, we're high desert, uh, so um, we, we, we get those. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking two weeks then. Yeah, we get those up like I think through Mother's Day. I think they they tell they tell you not to really plant anything that you can't bring inside before Mother's Day. No. Which is I I don't know what day that is. Sometime in May. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I I'm counting on doing peas in in late April. Peas grow pretty I'll fast, so you could do those a couple times. Yeah. Peas and green beans I... both grow pretty fast. Yeah. 
I Stra- wanted two different kinds. Strawberries, too. Sugar maybe. snaps and some... Uh, And what? Did you disappear? No, I'm here. I'm waiting for you to talk. You said you. Oh. Gonna, you said you bought. Some, you wanted some sugar snaps and and then you trailed. and some regular peas. Oh, okay. Oh, I must have just thought the rest. <laughs> yeah, he just trailed off. I, like, I want some sugar snaps and. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, All right. I thought you said something and no, I go okay. No, no. Well, no, no. you're not going to do it to garden this. Uh, this summer, I I have I have a different plan. I'm Time. Gonna, I'm going to grow weed. Oh, <laughs> so you're building up. Yeah, yeah, and and I plan on doing that inside under lights. Um, okay. And I I may I may I may I may do you know some uh, white sage outside. Um, mm-hmm. I don't plan on nice. on growing any uh, regular produce, but um, not even like a. Single cucumber, or you know, I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'm not really a fan of cucumbers. Tomatoes, I like. Um, but it's just the fun of it, you know. Having a little plan, you go by, say hi to it every day, and we uh, see. It's yeah. A flower, and now it's a little tomato. Well, I, I have I have enough compost to make a small gardening area, um, and that was my problem a couple of years ago when I did my garden. Was I, I? It was just the dirt I, that, that came naturally with the house, and uh, and stuff started to grow and then stopped because I I think it hit yeah. like a hard bottom. It's clay. It's it's clay soil here. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I've been building up this compost heap for the last couple of years, and uh, so I could till oh. till that in, and and get some decent soil going there. Um, yeah. I got last year. I got this big bag of rose soil and just put it in one big pot. It's a bottomless pot, right? Just a round thing with no bottom. A tube. A big one, right? Yeah, a tube. Yeah. That would be it. Yeah, you know, big tube. It stands on the ground, and I just filled it with this rose dirt, right? All right. Which is was like half horse manure and half dirt. It smelled like that, right? And I put a teeny tiny tomato plant into that, just. Let that be, and it grew into the biggest tomato plant I've ever seen. It, she ended up with like six big arms, and I must have gotten like more than sixty tomatoes off her. Wow! From one plant, and just because I bought that bag of um, rose soil, because cool. what I'm doing, I I build up four big planting beds that are almost half a meter high. And right now I'm filling them with um, small branches and leaves and, you know, garden trash, really. And I'm going to just fill them up with that and let that, you know, stump that in. And then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to buy soil, you know, yeah. like veggie soil. That's probably, you know, um, that has the nutrition and stuff in it, right? Right, and I'm yeah, it's got the right, you know, whatever. Yeah. Sure. And I, I got a greenhouse thing that I can put on top of one of the planting beds. So one of them will be with a greenhouse thing on top. So I'm thinking some lettuce and radishes and stuff like that in there. Cool. But I'm I'm definitely buying the soil. Well, that's great. Yeah. Sounds like a fun, fun, good occu- yeah, you know, it time, is. time occupier there. Yeah. I've been doing that for a couple of years now, you know. Okay, well, do we have anything I mean, more to say about um, idols? The false gods? I, idols? Okay, I will say this, that don't listen to them, though. Don't the listen to who? The people who tell you that you you have to go through them. Oh, oh, oh okay, don't listen to, to the humans. To find power, to find a uh, source of, of whatever. You no. don't need to go through anybody to find source or to find your power or to do what you want to. Absolutely you not. You can do yeah. all that. Yeah, you could do it all. Just uh, you, you need you need to, uh, and I I think this is kind of uh, what Moose Girl and I talked about um, on our show last week. The uh, the uh, Free Your Mind show. Did you hear that show? No, I have not listened to that yet. Gee, all right. Anyway, uh, uh. What, what we were talking about was um, hallucinogenics mostly. Yes. Okay. Uh, and my my take on that is the hallucinogenics allow you to connect to the source 
in a easier way uh, or a more more mm, direct path because it does it allows your mind to open up uh, to the possibilities uh in the in the avenues that you need uh well you don't need but that are very helpful um <laughs> well as i explained on that show um you can get there with without the hallucinogenics if you have a already open and free mind uh yes. but but a lot of people don't you know a lot of people are you know because you've been you've been you've had a whole lifetime of brainwashing and propaganda and nonsense fed at you that you know the government is this wonderful thing the church is this wonderful thing and you you know yeah as as you were saying that these people to you know telling you that you got to go through them in order to get there and you're never really going to get there only the only the church or the government will get there and then they'll tell you how how they interpret what they saw there yeah. of course they never got there in the first place because they don't It's like state. You they... got to go through parliament to empower your own life. What the fuck? Right. No, see, they're married to churchmen. State and church are married. Right. No. Ah. Sure they they're are. Evil people. They, they, I mean because they're, they're, they, it's the evil. That's they, the void. They 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 all started off as as religion and converted themselves to state. Exactly. Just as they all started off as polytheistic and they slowly converted themselves like a parasite. This warmongering, you know, I don't know what else to call him, but Abrahamic dude guy, you know, the Yahweh dude, whatever name is. He came in and then everything is war, man. I don't know. Don't listen to those people. You you can do what you want, and you have the power over your own life. There is no parliament that you have to go through to unlock your own power. That's that's a big old fat lie. Right. You're you're as free as you want to be, if you realize it. <laughs> yes. Yes. And anybody, any priest. Any politician, any guru, any helper, any mentor, any coach who says that they, you will have to go through them to get to where you want to be is, is not trying to help you. They're trying to sell you bullshit. They're trying to gain your power and they're trying to get your money. Yeah. yeah. Scammers. So anyway, as far as, um, okay. you know, your connection, um, it's there. It's always there. You're, you're always connected to the source if whatever you want to call you it you are you uh, are it and, is and, you. and it, right it is you you are the yeah. source and you're connected to the source and the source is connected to everything uh and, uh, call it the source whatever um it, 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 you can you can call it however you like um and uh and, if you if you need it to be uh, a physical image uh, entity to wrap your mind around it can appear however you like. Uh, it, it, yeah, yeah. You you can just you... the 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 wisdom of it. It is not outside you. It is not something. The source is not something away from you, right? No, the no. You, you can't. You can't it's be. Us. It's... You you. It can't be away from you, and you can't be away from it. It's the very fabric. But, it's, it's everything. It's but, the very fabric. But you have to have the realization that it's there. Yeah. Uh, or, or else you're just. I mean, it, it's like, you know, driving blindfolded. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. you know, that that never works. That 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 doesn't come out well in the end. <laughs> no, no, no. It yeah. doesn't. But it's funny though, because everything though, right? However, maybe the points in itself, you know, are not connected. Everything that is con everything is connected through the original idea, right? Sure. The source. So that right. is what is connecting everything. It's the original idea. Right through the of energy, the, the energy and the frequency um, of, that exploded. Uh, that that happened in that moment. In that moment when the idea was born, that gave birth to all of this, though, right? Right. All all of this and much more than you'll ever see. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. As you know, physically, uh, as, yeah. as, you know, because we're trapped within this little zone uh, called the universe. Yeah. This, and I say the universe is a little zone because it is compared to all else that's out there, which there's 
many varieties yeah. of universes. Um, Which is why when you think that your vision is limited and you have no choices, it's, maybe it's time to close your eyes, right? It may be. And yeah. now now it's time to close the show because we're like Ooh, at the end here. That was an hour. Yeah, that was an hour. <laughs> anyway um thanks sir uh and thanks to everybody for tuning in um and we'll be back next monday hopefully assuming Cirque's new computer keeps running which it will um it will it will why would you jinx it I'm not, i don't want to jinx it um you fucking jinx her no 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 I, I, i'm sure she's a wonderful machine um and if if god and lennon wants it right god and lennon will be here we will be here next Monday if which, God and Lennon wants it. Which Lennon? John Lennon? No, <laughs> the original <laughs> Lennon. Vladimir? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I prefer to have a John Lennon. John, John Lennon be the guy. Uh, anyway. We love you, Mary. Yeah, with peace and love. Yeah. Uh, it's possible tomorrow there will be a new episode of The Redneck Dentist. He said he wants Ooh. to start doing Tuesday shows. So I, I haven't spoken with him much about it yet, but it's possible that he'll be coming on, say, 7 p.m. Eastern or somewhere in there. I'm not exactly sure on his time yet. Uh, but he said leading on up uh, into the Clyde Lewis show, which starts well, that starts at 8 my time, which would be 10 Eastern. So I guess his show might be 9 Eastern. Um, I, I'll have to figure that all out. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, anyway, if he comes on, it'll be it'll be up there in the archives afterwards. In case you miss it, um, mm-hmm. then uh, uh, then on uh, Thursday is myself and the Moose uh, with Free Your Mind uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, and and Friday is Vin E comes on Ooh. and does his show so easily um, <laughs> at, <laughs> at uh, 1 Eastern uh, on Fridays, and then just check the schedule over there at RealLibertyMedia.com. And rlmradio.xyz for all the rest of the shows coming up. And uh, I guess that's it. You got anything else? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well. Stay sober or something. Stay sober? (laughs) I don't know. Uh, Yes. Don't Uh, get drunk on life, man. Stay sober. No. Get high. All right. Get high. (laughs) Talk to (laughs) to y'all later. Fuck you. Yeah. What the peace? What the fuck peace? <laughs>